Hi, my name is Grace Shalom Hopkins and welcome to another episode of Spin Weekly. It's a Hanukkah episode and today we are wrapping up the spin. We're talking about swatches and all that goodness. combination and for the combination I did uh, every other row so you knit knit pearl knit again I think however you do it you know how you do it where you end up with the two rows alternating yeah <laughs> After a survey of my family members, they said that the combination was their favorite, and I totally agree. I think that for my project, I'm definitely going to go with a combination. 
So that surprised me. Um, when I first spun the woolen, I thought, oh, worst it is the, the lamest. What have I been doing with my life? And woolen is so soft and fluffy and it's beautiful. And it is, and I wanna spin tons more. Let me reach for my swatches. But I can see major benefits from both. So here's the worsted. And I like how it's very crisp and I, I guess linear. You can see a lot of the lines, not just of the stitch definition, but the lines of the plies themselves. Um, so the, it's attached to my mic. <laughs> the plies really stuck out. So the, the yarn itself seems very geometric to me. It also, I don't know if you can tell, I haven't blocked it. Um, so it's got a slight slant to it. Um, and as you watched the video, you'll know that my worsted was uh, curlier than my woolen. My woolen came straight off the wheel, perfectly balanced, but my worsted did not. So I think that might be part of it, but future experimentation will show. Now this one is the, uh, the woolen, and like you see it's a little bit wider, a little bit bigger, a little bit straighter. The stitch definition is more, I think, about the stitches. So I see more stitch definition in this one, whereas on the worsted, I see more ply definition, if you know what I mean. Um, this one's definitely a lot softer. I feel like it's got a better drape. It feels lighter and warmer. All of the classic characteristics that you would think. So when you get them together, it's again bigger than the worsted um, swatch, even though they're the exact same size, same number of rows, same cast on. Um, yeah, so it also wants to do a curl but, and it's got a slight bit of slantiness, but again, I love that you get both the stitch definition and the ply definition in a very like stripey way. The stripes are so subtle, but I, I feel like this speaks more effectively to the characteristics and the qualities of the sheep itself than the yarn. When you mix the two techniques together, it looks more organic, but in a also very balanced way. So I find that with knitting hand spun yarn, you either get very much like a art yarn, chunky, like the sheep is literally going to jump out and eat you, or you get super what feels very sterilized and far away from the animal. Um, but this feels like a really good middle ground. So that's that's my thoughts on the actual yarn itself. Um, as far as what I'm gonna do with the yarn, I want to make this particular sweater. Okay, I had to stop and look it up. I wanna make the Nurtured Sweater by Andrea Mowry. I don't know if you can see. Um, it's on Ravelry, of course, so you can look it up there. It calls for just over a thousand yards. Um, for the smallest size, which I am, um, but I have seen quite a few of the projects going just a little under that. So I think with my pound of fiber, I ought to be able to eke out, maybe. <laughs> but again, I think that I don't want to be disappointed if I have too little um, yarn and there's lots of other cool things I could do with this specifically if you have any pattern recommendations on what to do with these yarns yeah leave them down below um, I'm really into um, garments right now and I think it's a little bit thick to knit a garment for the bean um, and I'm also not really into the whole like hat scarf thing and then Mittens, I think this seems really thick for mittens. Socks, same thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and I'm not really a shawl wearer, so uh, you can see why I didn't knit too much. Basically, garment patterns is where I'm at. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's my project 
notes and how it went and a really, really in-depth look at how I go through a spin, how I conquer something that I've never conquered before, like woolen, um, how I do some wool and spinning to knit a project. I've never done that before either. Um, so a lot of you have asked in the past for that kind of an exploration and I hope you found it really illuminating and just enjoyable. Tomorrow we're gonna have the last Hanukkah video and it's gonna be something completely different, a surprise, because I wanted to leave you with something totally different. Um, so I will see you tomorrow if you hit the like button to let me know that you liked it. I'd appreciate it. If you hit the subscribe button, you won't miss out on any of the Hanukkah shenanigans or future shenanigans. And as per usual, a huge shout out to our Patreon family for supporting me and the show and allowing me to make content just like this. I really appreciate it. And you guys are awesome. And I will see you tomorrow.